What is going on chatbot builders? Ryan here and today you're going to learn all about the message checker flow. The message checker flow will allow your bot, your agent, your assistant to understand the type of message that it just received from the user, whether that be text, whether that be audio, video, you name it. Let's get right into it. All right, so we are in the flow section, you guys. We've got all the flows that we've built so far. And what we're gonna do now is create the message checker flow. And I'll, maybe some of these flows here that you see in this list will come into play. But first we'll click add and we'll name this message checker flow. And we'll click continue. So the first thing that we're gonna do is normally we will start off with the send message block. Instead of that today, we're going to click the green plus icon in the bottom center of your screen. And we're gonna choose the condition block. And I'm gonna move this over and I'm gonna hover over this new condition block. And I'm gonna click on the second icon, the play icon. And we can see this says set as the starting step. Let's click on the rename icon again by hovering over this condition block. And we're gonna just call this check message type, save, all right? And so now what I'm gonna do is I'll click into this condition block and we can see, does the user match all of the following conditions? And if we click, it'll say any of the below conditions. These are two different things, very important to understand the difference. But in this case, we can just say all. And my first condition is gonna be based on not language. So I'm gonna type in input and I'm gonna be able to see the last user input type. I'm gonna choose the first option, text, save. Next, I'll click on check new condition i'm going to again use the same sort of formula and click on condition i'm going to again choose input type and i'll go down the list audio i'm going to complete this for all of the possible types of messages that we could receive type image add another one here type is going to be video and we'll do another one maybe and we'll say this one's going to be file input type file we could use location, but for this example, this is all we need to have. So what's going on here is the first step of this flow is a condition block, and it is going to check what type of message has been sent. Is it text? Is it audio? Is it image? Is it video? Is it a file? Or is there no match? Let's start with the no match slim possibility. Let's click into the continue circle to open a new node, and we'll say um, no match notify admin. Click save, add content, actions, notify admin. I'm the only admin of this page. And I'll say something strange just happened with the agent. Please check the inbox immediately. All right. And so you'll have an email most likely, but you can have other channels you get this notification on. In the case you're like me and you want to always be prepared, I'm going to go ahead and type inbox as like a field label. I'll click on my curly bracket here and then I'll actually choose the inbox link custom field. So if this is sending an email or a text message, however I'm getting notified, I'll also have a link to get to this exact conversation where um, a no match has occurred in this case, which is again, basically impossible, but we do have that option. Next, we can choose um, how do we want to respond if someone has sent in a file or a video. In this case, what I think I'll do is I will actually um, create a send message block here. And let's rename this received file or video. And then what we'll do is we will connect both the last user input type is video and the last user input type is file. And we're just going to send a quick message and we'll say, thank you so much. The file has been received and we will notify a manager immediately. And so then what I could do once we've told the user, Hey, we, we've got your thing. You could handle the conversation in any way that you'd like. But what I will do here is I will say, okay, great. Let's add another node, add content actions, and let's click inbox and let's transfer this conversation to a human agent and pause the automation and the AI. So we've transferred the conversation and we've notified the admin here, which I think is fantastic. And if we wanted to, we could also just uncheck the notify admin box here and instead create our own message. And so we could say, okay, let's say Ryan, and we could say, hey there, you just received a new file slash video to check out. And then what I could do is I could say, 
from, if we know who it is, use the custom field for full name. So, so we've got our from field and let's make our inbox field, our curly bracket and inbox inbox link just like that so hey there you just received a new file slash video to check out from if we know their name and if we've collected it previously we will and then we've got the inbox label which is a one click right into the inbox then i could view that video or view that file if i wanted to let's rename this to pause bot alert admin pause bot alert admin great so this is what will happen if our bot receives a video or a file in this instance, just because I think that's a fun example. I'm gonna delete this rogue send message block here. And the next three blocks are gonna be especially fun. So in this case, where we've created these blocks and these actions, what we'll do now is connect some of our previously created flows. So we'll do that by clicking this plus arrow here at the bottom um, center of your screen the bottom arrow and we'll click on start flow so let's continue our way up in this case the last user input type is an image let's connect to this new block rename the block image message from user and we'll click on this new block and we'll select the flow and maybe we want to analyze the image that was just sent we already have that analyze image flow created so we can just connect to that flow right from the condition block itself. We can do the same exact thing, the same sort of method if they've sent audio. So let's click start flow. Let's rename this to audio message from user. If that happens, we're gonna go here and we'll select audio default reply or default flow audio right here. Perfect. All right, and last but not least, if they send a good old fashioned text response. While we could create the reply right on this canvas, it is much more efficient and in my opinion, much better to use this method of connect the flow. Okay. So if they send text, we'll come here, rename this text message from user. We'll rename our block and then we will just choose the standard default flow, which is a traditional text reply. All right, how good does this flow look? This is what you call the message checker flow. Best chatbot builders and the best AI systems developers are gonna take this concept and really make it their own. Thanks for watching this video. We'll see you next time. Peace.